Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. An astronomical event is on the horizon that could stir up Earth's magnetic field and trigger minor geomagnetic storms. The culprit? A faint halo CME, coronal mass ejection, headed straight for us. Forecasted to reach our planet on July 27th, this celestial phenomenon is the result of a complex eruption involving a C5-class solar flare in sunspot AR3376 and the propulsion of a nearby magnetic filament. However, it's crucial to keep in mind that the details of this prediction are subject to change as NOAA analysts continue their meticulous modeling. Coronal mass ejections are gigantic bursts of solar wind and magnetic fields that erupt from the Sun's outermost layer, the corona. When these solar explosions occur near the center of the solar disk, they form a characteristic ring-like shape known as a halo CME. These events can have significant impacts on space weather and potentially affect our planet's magnetosphere. As the faint halo CME approaches Earth, there is a possibility of minor G1-class geomagnetic storms. Geomagnetic storms are disturbances in the Earth's magnetosphere caused by the interaction of the solar wind with our planet's magnetic field. While a G1-class storm is considered minor, it can still lead to some disruptions in power grids, satellite communications, and navigation systems. The sequence of events leading to the formation of this halo CME started on July 23, around 1530 UT, when a powerful C5-class solar flare erupted in the region known as Sunspot AR-3376. Solar flares are sudden bursts of radiation and energy released from the Sun's surface, and their strength is classified on a scale from C1 to C9 C9 being the most intense. In this case, the C5-class flare was substantial enough to set off a chain reaction. In addition to the solar flare, a relatively nearby magnetic filament experienced a liftoff. Magnetic filaments are cooler and denser regions of solar material held in place by magnetic fields. When these filaments become unstable, they can erupt from the sun, contributing to the formation of CMEs. While the forecast for the halo CMEs impact on July 27 is based on current observations and data, it's important to acknowledge that space weather predictions are incredibly complex. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, continuously monitors and models space weather to refine and update forecasts. As the HALO CME travels through space, NOAA analysts will be keeping a close eye on its trajectory and strength, making adjustments to their predictions accordingly. As the faint HALO CME approaches Earth, the possibility of minor G1-class geomagnetic storms on July 27 serves as a reminder of the Sun's far-reaching influence on our planet. The eruption, fueled by a C5-class solar flare and the liftoff of a nearby magnetic filament, presents both an astronomical spectacle and a call for preparedness. NOAA's ongoing analysis underscores the importance of staying informed and ready for any potential space weather disruptions. As we await the HALO CME's arrival, let us marvel at the wonders of the cosmos while remaining vigilant and prepared for its impact. Subscribe to our channel, and prepare to be captivated by a wealth of updates, insightful analyzes, and profound discoveries as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our dynamic universe. Remember to follow us on social media for the latest news and discoveries about space weather. To deepen your understanding of space weather phenomena, we invite you to explore our mini documentaries. Simply click on the on-screen videos to access these in-depth explorations. Thank you for watching.